day. There's, there's, you know, 3PL, which is, you know, very integrated, math-driven, process-driven, Omega 7, blah, blah, blah. And, but things happen in my business because, you know, people move things, all right? You've got ships and planes and trucks that transport, but it's people that move things. So when you're dealing with people, you're dealing with culture. Culture and language, to me, are, are integrated. You can't separate them. Like in Mexico, it took me about six months to figure out a Mexican never says no, even if they mean that. <laughs> so you, you can just beat your head against the wall thinking you're going to get somewhere, and you can't. So I think part of the key is just as you, as you work with other countries or in other languages, be aware of signals and, and even talk to people who already have cross-cultural experience on what you have to look out for. I don't speak Portuguese at my job ever, but having that background of being able to manage these different cultures and manage, okay, so I should be doing this in this situation because I'm with my Brazilian family and this is how it should be. But if I'm in a, an American setting, I would not be doing that. Because, so it's being able to adapt to these different situations. Those skills are what people need when they go into a company that's acquiring, you know, a bunch of other companies, or the opposite of being in a company that just has been acquired. People learn things in books, people are book smart, but you know, how do you tie on all this information out there around the world, digest it, analyze it, and to be able to make decisions <coughs> off of that? So that comes from gathering, uh, and, uh, what I call observational and informational gathering skills, okay? The world's all over here. You have to pick up on signals, uh, behavioral sciences, you know, reading people, you know, what did they really say? They could be technically brilliant, but they failed miserably because they didn't have the cultural and the language adaptation skills. And it's not just knowing this language, it's the adaptation skills. This, this is the art of what we do in language in, in the, the School of Arts and Sciences. You know, all these little nuances, they pay huge dividends.